San Diego Comic-Con, tomorrow, Gotham Knights will be there. We know that, and we know which night will be at Comic-Con this Thursday. Batgirl, Batgirl is coming. She's coming tomorrow on Thursday, July 21st. Like, guys, when I saw this news, I was all like, what the shit? Oh my god. So yeah, guys, we definitely have something to talk about today. Before I talk with you idiots, make sure to comment down below on what you're expecting at Comic-Con. Like the video if you enjoy, and subscribe for more Gotham Knights content. And if you don't subscribe, then you're going to have a wet dream tonight. Now let's get straight to the point. We see Gotham Knights tomorrow at Comic-Con. Their panel is scheduled to start at 3 p.m. and it lasts until 4 p.m. One four hour of Gotham Knights guys fuck yes let's go I was expecting like five ten minutes of Gotham Knights at Comic-Con but no we've been blessed with an entire hour from WB Games Montreal it's about time they're doing a big event right man okay I I'm gonna lie off you WB Games Montreal just a little bit though I'll still be on you guys later on so guys what can we expect from the one hour panel of Gotham Knights at Comic-Con well I have my hopes but apparently the website I'm looking at says that the panel is titled a look inside the making of the Gotham Knights video game well shit are you telling me that the entire panel is just behind the scenes talks and all of that I mean it is an hour long so what else would they be talking about Y'all remember back in DC Fandom 2021 when we got that cinematic trailer and that behind the scenes video talking about Gotham Knights? Is it pretty much just going to be that behind the scenes video all over again but for an hour long? I mean, I'm guessing it is. The website says that we will get a deep dive into the game with Patrick Redding, Anne Lee May, Wilson Mewey, along with actors America Young as Batgirl and Christopher Sean as Nightwing. Okay, I guess that's fine. If they're showing up for an hour, then I guess you gotta go down this route. And I'm guessing that Comic Con will be live streamed as well, so everything we're getting up there on stage will be live answers from the developers. Okay, that's good then. So we're getting a QA up there basically and we're going to have several of our questions answered. I'm liking this, guys. I'm actually liking this a lot. It might not be a QA, and a actually. It might just be them up there reading off a script telling us information about their game. I don't know. So a lot of stuff can come from this panel, actually. One hour of all this can give us a lot more information for the game, and hopefully it's some specific details, not some broad-ass details that I don't care all that much for. Just a reminder, if you're liking this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Gotham Knights content. Besides this hour-long discussion of the game, will we see any legit stuff for the game, like any gameplay or cinematic trailers now? I know a lot of people don't want to see the Batgirl character trailer, but Batgirl's voice actress is going to be up there in Batgirl's character character trailer was already confirmed to be there. And guys, the trailer being there is a good thing, okay? Now, I don't want only the Batgirl character trailer at the panel. Hopefully, we see more from the game up there. We're gonna see the character trailer, hopefully some gameplay, and hopefully another cinematic trailer for the game. Maybe focusing on the story and the characters and the villains for the game. I mean, there's literally a full hour of them being up there, so they can definitely talk about the game a lot, and they can show us a lot up there if they want to. They might end the panel off with a new trailer for the game, honestly, and I don't really know if we were to expect gameplay from them up there. I feel like they might take too long to show that off. If they were to show gameplay, I guess they could do a live gameplay walkthrough with them talking about the game while playing it at the same time. That's the only way I can see any sort of gameplay being up there. Maybe we get to see them play as Batgirl since we haven't seen her in forever. Her voice actress will be up there and we're getting her character trailer there as well. If there's no gameplay, then like I said, I'd expect to see some trailer at the end of the panel. We know we're going to get the Batgirl character trailer, so we're probably going to see that at the end if I had a guess. And it would be cool to see another trailer about the story, characters, or villains since I feel like a trailer like that would have way more significance over the Batgirl trailer and I feel like a trailer like that would be a better thing to show off. And two of the five people up there are people that I I'm looking forward to a lot actually. One of them being the narrative director of the game and the other person being the cinematic director of the game. So hopefully these two people elaborate more on the story for the game and the graphics for them as well. I feel like the narrative director can tell us some good stuff about the story and what we can expect from it. So I can't wait to see what they have to say for the game. And I will say that I actually am on vacation right now and this video actually, I planned on posting this video four hours ago, but I got carried away with all this other stuff. So I will try and squeeze my way into making a video tomorrow for you all talking about what there is for Gotham Knights at Comic-Con. I'm excited as fuck for tomorrow. I can't wait. I feel like we will have some important information to reveal for the game and we could have a lot of gameplay and or trailers to talk about as well. So comment down below what you guys are expecting to see or hear tomorrow. Like the video if you are excited for tomorrow and subscribe for more Gotham Knights content. See you next time you beautiful bitches.